Let's mount up. Hey guys, so it's a new year and I'm definitely ready to get going on projects for this year's haunt. Um, we've got a project planned for this year uh, that I know is going to take a while to actually pull off. Uh, so that's why we're going to get started early. Um, what we want to do is build a shooting gallery for our town. Um, now you may or not, may not be familiar with these. Um, they have, you know, they have them in arcades. Um, they have them at like Cabela's and of course uh, Disneyland, Disney World. And what it is is you've basically got your uh, gun uh, and it shoots out an infrared signal. Uh, and then on your uh, scene, you've got various props uh, with little targets. You shoot the target and then the prop does something, right? So you shoot like a can and it flips around or, you know, maybe you shoot a, a tombstone and it shakes or falls over, stuff like that. So I've always loved uh, these kind of shooting galleries as a kid. There was a place uh, uh, where I grew up. It was called Golf and Stuff. Uh, it became Castles and Coasters after that. Uh, but they had a really cool shooting gallery like that where you would have your little rifle and you'd be shooting the different things and different stuff was happening. And uh, that was just always so much fun. So we thought, hey, this would be actually a really cool project. Uh, we definitely want to have our, um, you know, have our haunt be interactive for the kids. Um, we're definitely more of a family-friendly uh, setup. Um, we're, you know, we go for more of the, the kind of creepy vibe, you know, like haunted mansion type of thing. Uh, just to kind of be a little bit more family friendly. Our neighborhood has, you know, a lot of younger kids. Uh, so we, we try to gear it towards that. And we, we want to, you know, introduce a lot more interactivity uh, and fun kind of games uh, into our haunt. Uh, so I think that this would actually uh, fit the bill really well. And then it's, I mean, for me, it's awesome because this is a, a whole little uh, electronic project to build, uh, something I think would be neat. And there's just all these different possibilities. So, um, Starting off, you know, started looking around for inspiration. Um, I looked at Disney has their shooting gallery in Frontierland. Um, at Disneyland, Disney World, there's also one in uh, uh, Euro Disney. Um, and so I've been checking out those guys. Uh, those are, you know, obviously really good inspiration um, to figure out how we're going to implement it. Uh, we want to set it up in the garage. Uh, that way we can have everything built and set up and then just kind of open and close the garage door uh, when we want to use it. And so we'll build a facade on the outside of the garage um, that will be for, you know, the shooting gallery. And um, then we'll have basically our, our inside stage. Um, so right now, you know, we're at the, the initial planning stage. Um, I do have a general idea of how these work. Um, there's different ways you could pull it off. I mean, you could go a practical route where you're actually like shooting like, you know, plastic BBs at targets or something, but obviously there's a safety issue there. We don't want kids shooting things that they're not supposed to shoot. Uh, so I think that the, the typical like infrared beam uh, is, is perfect. And um, I think it should be something that we could definitely pull off. Um, so if you're not familiar with it, basically it's a pretty simple concept. I mean, You've got your gun, um, when you pull the trigger, it shoots uh, an infrared beam out of the LED, and then you've got your targets on the other end that are looking for that infrared signal. They pick it up and then they trigger something. So <clears throat> we're coming up with ideas for what we want to do for the props. Uh, definitely, you know, tombstones are a really easy prop to, to start with, you know, maybe have them fall down and pop up or whatever. Um, we want ours to be, I mean, if you, if you're familiar with the Disneyland shooting gallery, that would be pretty darn close to what we want to do. It's, you know, set up to be kind of dark and creepy. Uh, they've got, you know, like lightning in the background, uh, that kind of thing. And that's, I mean, that's perfect for Halloween. So, you know, we would have, um, you know, different things built in, definitely, you know, have some jack-o'-lanterns, that kind of thing. Um, you know, maybe have, uh, like some tin cans that you could shoot over, um, I think it would be one thing that they did that I thought was cool is that they had like a cow skull you shot it and the, the horn spun so that kind of a thing um, and I think it'd be cool to maybe have like a, a barrel and you shoot the barrel and like a skeleton pops up so um, those are some of our ideas for some of the different props I think we're gonna be using a combination of methods to power those guys um, 
you know, definitely I, I can see servos being a good option for some of the simple stuff. Uh, things that might require more power, such as like a pop-up skeleton, uh, could do pneumatic. Um, and then some things I think we could get away with like different DC motors uh, to kind of move things around. So uh, the cool thing is this should be able to be, um, we should be able to handle all sorts of different ways to trigger things. Um, yeah, so I think it's going to be a pretty cool project. Uh, we're definitely really excited about it. Um, and I'm hoping to kind of give you guys, um, you know, a, a guide you through how we're, you know, show you how we're, we're pulling this off and how we're implementing it. Uh, so that way, if you want to build your own shooting gallery, then you can do the same thing. Okay, so now it's time to figure out how to actually build this thing. So I lucked out and found a little shooting game at Target. It's on clearance, which was cool. Uh, it comes with your little gun and your little board here. Uh, the gun, they each have, you know, batteries in them and everything. So the gun has, uh, your little gun has a sound effect. Um, when you fire it, it's basically shooting an infrared beam out of the end of the gun, right? So then you've got your uh, targeting thing here and uh, they've got, you know, you've got little LEDs. Oops, I'm on the wrong side. Uh, little LEDs here and then this uh, is the, basically the receiver that's picking up the IR signal. So uh, I can show you how this little guy works. You turn it on, hopefully, maybe my batteries are dead. Uh, or wait, you know what? Oh, there it goes. Okay. So this guy's on, all right, and then you've got, I've got a little gun on. So you start the game, uh, let's see if myself here. Start the game by hitting the thing, and then it's playing music now, and you just shoot the different part. Right? One of the, the little cow doesn't actually work. Uh, It's making. It's basically just keeping my score when I hit the different targets. So, kind of sad. I don't know how to All right. So you get the idea. Let me turn this guy off. All right. So, this uh, is pretty cool. It was kind of cool to find this because I knew what I wanted to do um, and had generally. I mean, I had the general idea of how it works. You're basically sending infrared signal and picking it up and doing different things. You know, basically when this picks up this, the signal, I want it to trigger different props. Um, Probably, I mean, there, there's all different options that I can use for that. Uh, you know, servos, uh, wiper motors, any kind of different thing, you know, motor, whatever. There's all sorts of options for whatever kind of effect we want. We want. So um, we'll basically be coming up with ideas for our props and then figure out, you know, how we're going to power them. So I was able to take this guy apart and kind of look at it and see uh, inside this little gun here, uh, there's basically a push button trigger. So when you pull this, it's pushing the button on a little circuit inside. Uh, there's a little uh, board in there. Uh, you've got your batteries. And I mean, basically what it's doing when you press this is it's making the sound effects and it's sending the IR signal, right? And then um, this guy, when it's on, it lights up the LED and it's uh, looking for that signal. And this guy, I mean, this one's basically looking, you know, it's wanting you to hit specific targets and that's how you're getting your points. Um, our implementation will be different because you can shoot whatever you want and then the props going to trigger so but it's a similar idea so this is basically uh, a cool thing a cool find uh, just for kind of seeing how this is built and uh, to help with coming up with ideas on how to actually implement this thing